Good afternoon and thank you for joining me this afternoon. My name is CW. I do product reviews and demonstrations. I'm glad you could join me this afternoon because I'm going to take a look at the Fundango High-Low Portable Camp Cot. Comes in a convenient storage bag. If you're into ultralight or hiking or something like that, ultralight, it's probably not the product for you because it comes in at seven pounds. It's adjustable height that goes from 7.8 inches off the ground to about 12.9 inches off the ground. The frame is made from 775 aluminum alloy and it's supposed to hold up to 300 pounds, 330 pounds. The fabric on the cot itself is specially treated 420D ripstop cloth. It features a side pocket and no tools required to put it together. Luckily for that, because I'm not really a tool person. It also comes with this convenient storage bag. I guess if you do like car, car camping, it would probably be all right for you because of its small size. And uh, that's about all I can think of right now. Let's take a look at putting it together. All right, let's take a look at how to put together this Fundango adjustable portable camp cot. This looks like the legs to make it taller off the ground. There should be about 12 of those. Oh, heck, the bag is broke. Well, they're metal pieces in a plastic bag. What do you expect? These look like the legs that go on the camp cot, the legs, another one of those adjustable feet, and there's the cot, and another adjustable foot, and there's instructions how to put it together. Let me take a look at that real quick. The long holes, I think, are inside there. Ah, uh, there's a nipple there. They kind of like shock poles, shock corded in there. All right, you turn those to get to the frame. It's gonna be sitting like that. I'm just sitting in like that right now because. That is the poles that we were looking for. They're like shock corded together. So I think we're gonna run those poles through the outer edge of the cot. All right, so that's the one end of it. Looks like the poles only go in on one end. It's got a Velcro on it.
almost there. Surely it's not really that hard. It's just this is my first time. So. Kind of a uh, portable camp cot virgin. All right. Uh, Velcro that end together there so it stays on there. Let's put in this second pole. Gonna have to. Oh, yeah. We might get the chair over here. Retractable stool. I think it's all the way to the end now. side pocket Let's turn that over this is gonna go under it how does that work ah there we go I think these are going to have to go all the way into the third one. All right, so it looks like this is going to attach. Does it click or anything? I don't feel like it's clicking or anything. Oh, it's going to take a little bit of force to get this. That's what's going to hold it in place. Just the to... oh, takes a little bit of effort to get that on there. There we go. But now it stretches it, makes it good and tight. Now I'm not really worried about those things whether they click on or off, right? We'll put this to the first one. These hook from the inside out. I don't think they really hook from the outside in. It's the way it fits from the inside out. All right, get on there. There we go. It's just a little bit of effort to get that under there, but that's what holds it in place. Takes just a little bit of effort. <clears throat> there we go. There we go. The Fundango. Adjustable portable camp cot. Right, let's take a lay on it and see how it feels. Oh goodness. He sunk into it. Oh, I guess it feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. Feels like laying on a bed. Kind of a soft uh, spongy bed. Kind of laying on a spongy bed. All right, let's put those feet on there and see what that does for me. All right, the feet have a little springy. Guess they just push in, just push in. Push in and push in. And then the last two. We're going to have to find a different container for these feet. Alright. I 
and there it is a little bit taller that's the 12.9 inch height oh yeah there we go ah. yep I'm all the way on here all right side pockets right there got two little handy compartments on the side pocket handy come in handy for keeping your phone wallet anything you need to keep up off the ground matches fire starting flashlight whatever you got all right let's uh take a look at the measurements on this thing while we got it out we'll get the tape merger and do that real quick about 77 and one half for the length long ways about 26 and a quarter for the length on the short ways this is the height with the added legs it is like 12 and an eighth about about 12 and a quarter maybe 12 and an eighth, 12 and an eighth or 12 and a quarter I don't know I can't really tell you be the judge let me know in the comments this is the height with no legs on it it's about eight eight and a quarter inches or so I don't know you let me know all right this is what it looks like when I get on there I'm probably about I might be about 220 or so probably about 220 I think so that's what happens when I'm laying on it all right so that's my first encounter with the Fundango ultralight portable camp cot it was fairly easy to put together just run those poles through the sleeves on the sides put the legs on there the little thing points inside out you got to put a little bit of force to get it to the other side so it's stretchy and strong my goodness it is humid out here today <laughs> it's probably 100 percent humidity and about 86 degrees so i'm sweating to death sorry about that sorry about sweating so much on this video it's fairly lightweight when you get it put together it doesn't really feel like it's going to be seven pounds but the package says that it's seven pounds so you might want to consider that if you're hiking i bought this in case i go on a overnight solo camp trip to film videos or anything so i think it's going to work out just fine for the purpose that it's intended it says it holds up to 330 pounds hopefully i don't really get to 330 pounds to test that out so it's the Fundango Ultralight Camp Cot. I think it's going to work for what I need it for. Thank you so much for joining me. You have a good night, good day, good e weekend. Whatever time it is you're watching, you have a good one. All right, let's take a look and see how hard it is to take this thing apart and put it back into the bag. I'm gonna take all these feet out. I got another container to put the feet in. All right, got the feet off. Let's see how about taking these off. Takes just a little bit of pressure. takes just a little bit of pressure to get the um, and then we'll take that apart Not very much room here on the table. All right. Get 
these rubber bands. Good. Yes, it is like 100% humidity out here. It's been raining for about three days. Finally got a day with no rain. So it's like a sauna. Try to follow the folds that are already in it, right? Uh-oh. Not feeling like it wants to just really go back in there. There it goes. Uh-oh. Make it into a compression sack. There we go. The Fundango adjustable portable camp cot. Alright, now how does this look? Get out of here, you ugly cat. How does this one look? I hope I'm not getting my shorts really, just mainly this part and got a little bit of room for my head, I hope. <laughs>